Hello, this is Chris Menard. I'm a Microsoft Office Master Instructor. Let me tell you what I would do if I had a really large uh, PowerPoint presentation and I had video, audio, and pictures in the PowerPoint and I was going to email it out but I don't want the people I'm emailing it out to really use the pictures that are in it. So I somewhat want to protect it. So most people say, well, make it a PDF. Well, if you make it a PDF, the audio and the video don't play. So here's probably the best solution, and plus, this will take care of if uh, the presentation is too large. 20 meg, 25 meg is probably the most you can email, but most people don't want to get an email that large. So just go to File, Save As. If you have Office 2013, you have OneDrive. So if you wanted to email this, you still could, but I would put this on OneDrive. Go to Browse. I've already made a folder called Dealers. I'm going to change the name. You don't have to change the name, but I'm going to. Don't save it as a presentation. You want to save it as a PowerPoint slideshow or a PowerPoint show. A PowerPoint show just plays automatically at full screen and people can either hit the space bar or left click to advance slides. And then you want to go to Tools, General Options, because you still don't want them to be able to change it, and put a password for Password to Modify. You're going to have to retype it again. So now I have a PowerPoint presentation that I use locally, but I'm going to send out the PowerPoint show to the people that I need to see it. So let's go see what it looks like. I'm under OneDrive. There's the PowerPoint show. It even says Microsoft PowerPoint Slideshow. We put the password in uh, to modify it. Um, you won't be able to see this. It's going to show up full screen but with my video capture program. I'm going to left click, it'll go to slide 2, but if I tried to open this in PowerPoint, it would ask me for the password, and if someone doesn't know the password, they can't get to your uh, pictures, which is the purpose of this. Plus, the advantage is, if it's over 20 meg, 25 meg, I can just send them the link, and to do that, because it's in OneDrive, right click, share the link. What's nice is they don't have to have OneDrive to open this. I've tested that. So that are, that's my recommendations for really large PowerPoints that have audio, video, and pictures. Thank you for your time.